In the previous video, we just covered how the Americans only gained 49,000 jobs, but um, holy fuck, is that significantly better than losing 213,000 jobs in a country that is not but, what, 10, 20% of the United States? Whatever the census get done, we'll be able to, you know, figure out what is what, but wow, wow. According to the survey, employment fell by 1.2% or 213,000 jobs in January with losses entirely in part-time work and were connected in the Ontario, Quebec and Ontario retail trade sectors. Yeah, Quebec still, it was only supposed to be a couple of weeks. They were only supposed to have a curfew, but um, yeah, there's no signs of lifting that. And Ontario, I don't know, they just keep threatening their population with more restrictions, but letting it up in the northern half of the province, but in the same time in the GTA area, keeping everything locked down because it's not working. Stop trying to make it work. Stop trying to make lockdowns a thing. But let's dig into this because this isn't the only atrocious thing that the liberal liberal government is directly responsible for because if there was strong leadership at the top there wouldn't be these lockdown measures taking place like i feel like we're the only country left here in canada that is standing steadfast by the outdated practice of lockdowns i, do, I don't know who else is trying them at this point every blue state in the united states right now is saying yeah we should probably open up because our economy is tanking meanwhile you know, justin trudeau is uh just 100 percent behind the idea of these failed lockdowns i know why and i think you guys know why too because he's such a big proponent of the great reset wanting to build back better and I wish I could do a Justin Trudeau impression, but I like girls. The Canadian Label, Labor Force Survey in January was released on Friday by StatsCan, revealing the impact of lockdown measures put in place mainly in Ontario and Quebec. According to the survey, employment fell by 1.2% or 213,000 jobs. And yes, they were concentrated on, on only part-time jobs in Quebec and Ontario. Yeah, you know for sure. And French words. The January drop follows a drop of 53,000 in December. Oh, okay. Um, how do you hand wave that one away? This is the lowest participation of Canada's workforce since August of 2020. Oof. Labor force participation rate defined as the percentage of the population aged 15 and older who are employed or unemployed fell 0.3 percentage points in January to 6. Wow. 64.7%. That's how many Canadians are at work. Oh my God. Oh my God. How are you? Uh, uh, words escape me on this one. That is atrocious. And 858,000 Canadians are out of work. <laughs> they just added another 213,000. Holy fuck. And how are we going to come back from this? I, I'm sure they... Um, Try to make it better. Oh, employment rose in Alberta. Okay, conservative government. Manitoba, um, a cuck in charge. Nova Scotia, not too sure. PEI, I think they've already left anyways. And British, Col British Columbia, uh, pfft, don't make me laugh. Saskatchewan, conservative government, and New Brunswick. I don't know. They all held steady. So yeah, just Ontario, which is a conservative government, but th that guy, I, I don't know. He must have been standing a little bit too close to his brother when he was spike or sparking up the crack pipe. Dude, Trudeau just hates private sector work. He wants everybody to be on the government tit like him, his old man, his mother, his wife. Anybody with the last name Trudeau has been since, what, mid to late 70s? That's not even the worst thing that he's done lately or at least been responsible for. How about... I don't like to normally dive into this type of gossip material, but yeah, uh, this one's fairly believable and it comes from a really reliable source. Ex-liberal MP slams Trudeau as fake on diversity and feminism. You don't say. I'm just as shocked as you guys. Like, I, holy fuck. Like, just look at that. Look at that very, very honest and truthful look that Justin Trudeau has given you. And it's not like he isn't a fan of feminism oh he's a self-professed feminist and he even appointed the first attorney general female attorney general a couple years ago and yeah and speaking on diversity she was also the first native to be appointed to that office as well 
And then she was also the first one fired. So, I and come on, it's 2015. Why shouldn't my cabinet be 50% men and 50% women? It's not like the actual breakdown of your party was like 70-30 men to female. So, you know, you, you pay your lip service. It's not like you really, you know, follow through on anything. I'm sure that... Uh, Selena's accusations here are not founded in anything. It's not like um, she was a member of the Liberal Caucus or anything. Former high-ranking MP Selena Cesar Chavanes, I'm just going to call you Cesar Chavez, has put has just released a new book in which she puts forth that Trudeau and much of the Liberal Caucus have no real commitment to diversity or inclusion. Oh, I've... I, man, that that's just really a deal breaker for me. And I thought that I really held a bunch of shared beliefs with Justin Trudeau. Oof. The tell all tell all memoir entitled "Can You Hear Me Now?" No, I can't. I didn't even know that you had this. Anyways, it has just been released on Tuesday. I bet you it's, I I just probably couldn't even put it down. According to Vice, ugh, Cesar Chavez, who officials. Oh, whose official position was that of a parliamentary secretary to the PM? See, he gives equal opportunity to females. He lets them be a secretary. I never had to use my brain at all. Well, that's debatable if you could have anyways. It was tokenistic. It was embarrassing. Never once inviting me to a meeting with a feminist. Diver Why, you're the secretary. Diversity is our strength government and the only black female representative in parliament. So because you're all of those things, you want to take advantage of the fact that the cuck in chief um, would go ahead and normally pander to all that stuff. Oh, you, I, you just love to see the left eat its own. Cesar Chavez fa clashed famously with the PM on two main occasions. The first time was when she got into a verbal altercation with the only based MP and uh, other French guy whose name I can't pronounce, Pierre Polivier, something like that. Over government funding for racial programs, there's not enough to need ra uh, funding for specific racial programs, okay? We're a overwhelmingly white society. She felt at the time that the Liberal Party didn't do anything for weeks while she was being massively attacked online for her position, her bad position. And she had to account for it. And, um, oh my god, they're attacking me. And now because she's out of office, she gets to attack the guy who didn't do a good enough job in her eyes de defending her. I, th this is glorious. This is really great. As a strong black woman. Wait a minute. She felt at the time the Liberal Party didn't do anything for uh, for weeks while she was repeatedly massively attacked online for her position. Okay. But she's a strong black woman and ain't no need no man. I didn't think you needed help, she said. Trudeau told her, oh, okay, I'm starting to like Justin Trudeau a little bit more, okay? <laughs> when she asked him uh, why he and the rest of the Liberal Caucus didn't do anything. <laughs> Based. The second time she experienced friction with the PM was when she publicly showed support for Minister Jody Rils Wilson uh, Raybould for refusing an easy plea deal for then on trail SNC Lavalin against Trudeau's wishes. Okay, so I guess a broken clock can be right twice a day. Wilson Raybo resigned and Cesar Chavez followed suit almost immediately. Right, I made reference to this and the last time I did, I mentioned that a bunch of other ministers also left at the same time. They didn't leave the party. Oh, no, no. They still ran as independent or they just weren't a part of the ministerial positions. They just took a backbench seat, which she probably also took offense to, but that's just the terminology. Get over yourself. Use a strong black woman. We was Kangs and shit. And she ran as an independent, and because she didn't have the support of the Liberal Party of Canada, she lost. <laughs> and now she's, yeah, just chewing out Justin Trudeau for not being a big enough bitch. Frankly, I'm glad she's out of work, and hopefully she is a part of one of those, I don't know, 213,000 people. I don't know. I'm sure she probably has an OnlyFans. Feel free to check her name out. She goes under the title of Triple C. I can think of a few other C descriptors, but we'll end that there. Thank you all very much for the gift of your time. I've been Don Consuelo. I want you to follow your gut and get after it. Take care, everyone.